I've got to take Tabitha to hospital. The accelerator pedal sticks down as well, which is a bit scary when I'm driving along. It's suddenly stuck down. We had a bit of a heat wave and Tabitha had been sitting on the driveway for three weeks without being driven. So she's got a bit seized up. Hopefully I can get her fixed before tomorrow when I'm heading off to Lewis. Right, hopefully the accelerator pedal won't stick down. It's quite nerve wracking. Just got to get her to the garage, it's not far. to drive there on a main road I can walk back along green lanes and fields if you don't know what a green lane is basically it is a lane like this that was used in ancient times back there they're Roman lakes and it hasn't yet been asphalted that's why my filming business is called green lane films about 11 o'clock at night it took me six hours to get here um, but I'd stopped for about half an hour and also was driving round and round Lewis for ages because um, the sat nav was telling me the wrong thing so I'm a bit irritated to say the least actually I had a meltdown <laughs> just trying to find my way around late I was up early and when I get tired I just I can't function. So anyway, hopefully um, I'm going to sleep well because it's a nice quiet street. There's a little lake there apparently. I feel cosy and safe. So um, yeah, see you in the morning. Where we are. And the park for night app says it's free parking after 5 pm. So from 9 am you're supposed to pay, but I'm just going to check because if I'm in the van, that's not technically parking. Your vehicle will be considered parked if you stop longer than necessary. So even if you stop for less than five minutes, for any other reason, your car will be considered parked.
see Joan behind me, but I stretch out my attention wide so I can hear them equally. Phil in my face talking loudly, and Joan screaming in the background. You've Told got you. to let me they're out of here. I need to, to see room. my children. Open the fucking door. I'm perfectly okay. Away. It was just a bad night. So Get off me. Mayhem in stereo. Thank you. That was brilliant. <laughs> is not Tabitha. This is a studio in the garden of Deirdre Daly, who is a reader who got in touch with me and told me um, how helpful my book had been and how it led her to seek out open dialogue for her daughter. And then when she saw that I had a book tour, she said, come to Lewis. So I did. like as a bookmark to go in the book and it is actually a piece of Tabitha which has come off the blinds oh. and it's just broken off so there you go you can have it as a bookmark oh, wow. <laughs> I have a piece of Tabitha <laughs> uh. actually this is this is Keith um, um. Keith built the studio in the garden. Lockdown project. <laughs> and um, Deirdre designed all the inside. When I bought the vehicle, yeah. all it had on was that. <laughs> yeah, so it's very difficult to see, but that was welded onto there. Uh, I tried to drill a hole through there. Mm -hmm and through there, but I kept breaking the drills and that's too hard. The mechanism inside is pretty old. Yeah. It, it's kind of sticking. When it sticks, if you go back half a turn and then give it another little go, 